Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta get into this one immediately. What's going on, Toxic Gamers? Because holy smoke is it ain't no joke, is okay? Everybody's going crazy right now, man. The story is insane. I I guess seconds gonna be seconds, right? And I I did not see this coming. I did not see this coming. Everybody thought that it cannot get any worse than Redfall. Guess what? We were all wrong. wrong. It can get worse than that. It really can. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders because you remember that time. You remember that time when we were all clowning on Redfall. Deservingly so though. We gamers, we deserve better than that, man. We deserve better than that. But people are, it feels like that people enjoyed Redfall a little bit more than the Concord situation. I really cannot compute this, okay? When I first saw that, my, my, my EXE broke 10 times low low player count 10 times less players than redfall on xbox 600 uh, 6 000 people right and 622 meanwhile you got this monkey game just killing it man 2.4 million i mean damn okay that, <laughs> that is crazy but dustborn on the other hand you know it's breaking its previous lows 53 it beat that just with 64 and then 81 player and then it beat that 81 player with 83 players so it is killing it loki but apparently we now have this situation concord's failure cost sony 214 thousand dollars per player we're gonna get into this one immediately okay we're gonna learn why that is the case shout out to the homie smash jt like and subscribe uh, but make sure to not like this video i, I don't want to see more than 697 likes okay keep it at 696 guys come on man don't do them dirty like that okay Roll i'm it. seeing a lot of youtubers out there making these crazy clickbait headlines for concord like oh concord is so bad it's terrible it's worse than we thought it was and i'm over here like no this is what this is exactly as yo did i click the wrong video like uh, concord is bad bro bad as we thought it was going to be if you've been following the story of oh this is this is exactly as bad as we thought it was going to be if you've been following the story of concord all along there's okay. absolutely nothing surprising about this embarrassing launch what's going on guys <laughs> welcome to another episode of smash jt concord has launched to a paltry maximum amount of players on launch day maximum of 600 and change on steam not 600,000 600 people <laughs> hit that subscribe give me a like and check out smashdt.com oh, i swear to god man this guy is making more money from covering the drama of concord than the concord devs devs themselves i can vouch for dustborn though like i'm making more money by covering the dustborn drama than the dustborn devs themselves bro i, I feel like that uh, you guys also are making more money like let's be real this is absolutely pathetic right now this what happens and what we're learning here is that concord these seconds spend eight years eight years you guys crazy eight years and apparently now the game what we're finding out is that the game got more pronouns than the players on the game bruh like damn damn in urdu real quick okay i gotta switch up languages real quick guys don't trip but in urdu real quick i like to say this man right in the full article discussing how concord is costing sony two hundred and fourteen thousand two hundred and eighty five dollars and seventy one cents per person playing on steam and that's actually giving it the benefit of the doubt that there's 700 people but it's even less than that but we're not taking into account they're paying 39.99 for it and there's a lot of small <laughs> math going into it but grand scheme big picture this is one of the biggest most spectacular flops there we go. in <laughs> modern gaming <laughs> <laughs> that's literally all of us right now. That's all of us. I mean, that's a that's a perfect one. I mean, some memes do write themselves. History. Speaking of modern, where the hell is that audience? Learning the law said on Twitter, Concord, a video game estimated, estimated. to cost between 50 million and 150 million to develop, really went into a meeting and said, yes, this will sell our game. 
Let that sink in. Damn. And he gives a few options here as to how that could be because I'm of the same mindset. I should have a tinfoil hat here to put on because I'm always thinking of conspiracy theories because <laughs> these <laughs> days it feels like they're more likely than not to be true. He gives yeah, option yeah, A, fair. money laundering. B, government funding game. Now, now, to be fair though, this one is definitely gonna get some of you riled up as well because at the end of the day, we're all taxpayers, right? Sad, but true, okay? We're all taxpayers. And here's the thing though, this this is not a conspiracy. What we're now learning is that Dustborn, I believe they also took eight years to make this abomination of a game. That's what I'm hearing. Could be wrong though, could be wrong. Maybe it's being uh, conquered. They took eight years, that's confirmed. But people are also saying they also took eight years, give or take, with Dustborn as well. But you know, forget about that crap, right? Apparently, these suckers over at Norway, they use people norway's residents taxpayer money to fund this game oh, and, and apparently the government paid them 150,000 euros to make that dustborn game could you imagine that could you imagine that the, i let that sink in let that sink and see pure insanity in sony californian headquarters and i saw people in the replies being like d all the above which could be as well but this is so <laughs> insanely ridiculous the game itself isn't terrible it's serviceable most people playing it are giving it like a seven seven and a half hell i've even seen some people say it's upwards of almost an eight it's that good as far as a hero shooter online multiplayer oh, game oh, team oh, squad oh. shooter game oh. it's awesome yeah yeah but it costs forty dollars yeah. In a landscape of games that are all free to play that are established brands that have an audience already that are quite frankly better looking games yeah, than this. And for those of you that are paying attention- And the funniest story out of all of this is here. Uh, here. Here is that. Here's the funniest story from all of this, right? You got Concord debuting with 10 times less player than, players than Redfall. And Redfall is considered to be the worst game imaginable, right? Like, you know when Redfall came out? I know some people still liked it and that's perfectly fine. If you like it, you like it. If you like Concord, hey man, whatever, okay? I guess uh, you like it, you like it, hey, you like it, okay? But, and of course, after all, Sega's gonna be Sega's, okay? Right? This is uh, one of those reasons. I mean, the fact that it even have like 697 people buying, and you guys gotta understand that this is not free to play. Now, with, uh, with of course, uh, with Redfall, if you had Game Pass, you might want, you wanted to try it out. Yeah, okay, fair, fair, right? Fair. The situation here is this. When Redfall came out, man, people clowned on that game so badly, deservingly so. And Phil Spencer had to, you know, do emergency podcasts. He had to do like emergency live streams. He had to calm down the Xbox Andes. He had to calm down the gamers. He had to like, you know, uh, wh what's the word? Uh, what's the word? What's the word? What's a uh, damage control? Yeah, damage control. He had to damage control. He had to damage control because he understood that the game was bad. Okay, even Phil Spencer he accepted defeat and it was really really bad. Okay, then comes the homie Dreamcast guy. Then comes like everybody right Xbox dead, Xbox this, Xbox that, and that right. We had a lot of memes. We laughed, we cried, we laughed, we cried, we laughed, we cried. Right. I guess today we're just crying. We're just crying. Concord comes out 620. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair though, Concord did beat its previous low of 622 with 697. Yay! So that at least happened. To these paltry numbers and a ridiculous comparison between the all-time peak of, what, 697 players Damn, on Concord? Bad. Com I better not see you guys going above 696 likes because in the last video when I said that don't go you guys hit like a thousand likes man You guys are crazy man like I swear to god I blame you guys okay I blame you I blame all of you out there What the hell why are you guys not supporting these <laughs> game studios out there huh Why are you not doing that right now man damn man like Dustborn bro like at least a hundred people guys hundred people man come on man let's let's get it up to a hundred people right Compared to Black Myth Wukong stating that they had three million players Jeez. playing it at once Jeez. and selling a total of over 10 million units. But then again, the developers of it, Game Science, decided they didn't want to be woke with their game and didn't want to involve any kind of sweet baby inks or Western ideologies forcing DEI agendas on games. And, well, the gamers showed up. Will these game companies learn and take a lesson from the history they just saw transpire right now? 
I wouldn't hold my breath. Anyways, PC Ga It's gonna take some years. It's gonna take. It's gonna get worse before it gets better, though. Gamer had an interview with the development team talking about the launch day and the reflection of get this. Okay. Eight years of development time no. and for those of you who are new to the channel i've covered firewalk studios in great detail it's a deep dive i've made three videos talking about not just one of the lead yeah it's like the liberal white woman right most of them at least that are ruining games man damn bro like damn man bro like they ruin everything they touch bruh you just want a good game man like what the hell what the hell is that bro like damn yeah, in Urdu, yeah, developers, but also one of the artists there, and then the overall atmosphere, the work environment, the HR policies, just how completely back-ass, broken, woke the agenda is at this company, and how that's exactly why this company is going to fail. I can't help but keep interjecting these comparisons because it's just too ridiculous to ignore crush your bad 64 shared with me on twitter oh, you know no. it's bad when even Man. redfall has more players the all-time peak 15 months ago for redfall a 6, terrible game by almost all accounts and that had an all-time peak of 6124 players on steam compared to concord which this isn't updated but it's closer to 700. Bumbuckler. Yikes! Bumbuckler. So putting that information together, eight years of working on this game for an upwards of 150 million dollars. You want to divide the, we'll say, 700 people yeah. playing this on launch day mm. into 150 million dollars. And that's how I got the number of 214,285 dollars and 71 cents per person. Man, nah, say you say say you swear to God, bro. Say you swear to God, man. That that cannot be real, man. That's tough. That that is tough because apparently these seconds over at Concord are saying that they're gonna have like uh, season two, season three. Yeah, so they already set up like uh, more seasons. They're saying that more seasons will be coming. <laughs> yeah. More seasons will be coming. But to be fair, though, like respect i guess uh, you know for them to actually announce like seasons beforehand i mean it was totally not like the cut content right totally not the cut content that they are going to be feeding us later down the road okay okay that's fair that's fair that's fair that's fair that's fair that's fair on steam yes obviously it doesn't include sony playstation 5 players and all the people playing on mm. that all dozens of them over there i get it the point is it is a massive flop, no matter how you slice it. In the interview from PC Gamer, lead developer Mark Wanuski said, Concord has so much humanity and depth to it. I really hope people give it a shot. Which is fair, you know, he wants to pump up his game. He's excited about launch day, spending the past eight years putting it together. I mean, yeah, that's a yeah. lot of time in somebody's life to contribute to a single game like this is kind of like one would say their lives work eight years of development e time e for this e game to come out and he Yikes. has high hopes for it because Yikes. let's be honest these people are all in echo chambers and they forget that there's this thing called reality hitting them right in the face mm -hmm. he went on to say I'm insanely proud of the game. We're oh, who's that good boy, man? Who's that good boy, man? Because my good boy be looking like this right now, man. My good boy be looking like this. <laughs> my good boy be looking like this. Yeah, look at that good boy. Look at that good boy. Look at that good right boy. in the face. He went on to say, "Yeah, look at that. Oh I'm man, look at that good boy, man. He's sleeping. Yeah, that's all of us right now, man. Los Angeles, protect your pets. Uh, protect your pets starting at ten dollars a month. Oh damn, that's a deal and a half right there. Okay. Insanely proud of the game." We're strapped in and ready to push it for years to come. There we go. Okay, right there, when the lead developer is saying we're ready to push this game for years, years. to come, two things come to mind. One, he's completely out of touch and forgot his crazy pills because that's absolutely insane for a game that has 
less than I, I wouldn't be shocked if the game uh the studio shuts down bro i would not be shocked but i would be more shocked if the studio doesn't get shut down you you, you feel what i'm saying if the studio doesn't get shut down then it's over it's over and ultimately i don't want these suckers losing job okay like I, I said it i made it very very clear i don't like it when people lose their jobs but in this case when you are apparently like suckers over at th this studio as well like i don't firefly walkfly i don't know what's the name of the, the studio do we have firewalk yeah firebug bruh yeah firebug studios right so the these suckers over at firebox studios are calling gamers toxic problematic and just name calling gamers as well right so yeah, at this point, if they do, I mean, I wouldn't feel bad for them. But generally speaking, like, I don't want anybody losing their job, okay? That's that's where I'm at, personally. You guys can disagree with me. You can agree with me. You can disagree with me. That's perfectly fine. But of course, bro, like, if you're gonna make a product like that bad, then you deserve it. You deserve it. You didn't make this game for gamers. You made it for the modern audience. And I guess that's what you're, ga you're, that's what you're getting right now. The market decides. So you didn't make the game for gamers, so gamers are not playing it. The modern audience is playing your game, and this is how much I guess the modern audience is willing to take, or this is how many of them are choosing to buy your game and then play your game as well. I would even go as far as to say that this is by far, th they're calling Dustborn the wokest game ever, understandably and rightfully so. And this game, I'm not sure if it's free or not, like, I didn't even bother. Yeah, this is how, like, I don't even give a damn about this. Like, we're just laughing at this abomination. And I guess it's a good thing that all of this is going down. Because what this tells me is that... <laughs> that's a perfect uh, screenshot right there. But uh, that's a perfect reaction. Because all of this that's going on, what this tells me is that eventually, man, something gotta give. Something gotta give because right now even Xbox is realizing hey, man, we're not making money, man We gotta put the games out on on, on PlayStation Okay, whether that be time exclusive whether that be day one time exclusive a year after hey We need to put it out because we gotta make money. Okay money of uh, money talks bowl squash walks Okay, so that's uh, that's where we at right now So eventually they're gonna learn and they're gonna stop making games like that We'll, we'll still get those games uh, for sure. We're still gonna be able to laugh but I feel like the majority of the games that are doing this woke crap, they're probably gonna chill a little bit. Maybe they're gonna slow down. I don't think for m massive projects, right? Like the massive games, for example, the Naughty Dogs, right? Like The Last of Us 2, it's still got a cult like following because The Last of Us 1 was very, very good. And even Last of Us 2, graphically and production wise, is very good. Um, credit where it's due, I'm not gonna take that away from it. But story wise, it just is woke, okay? It, it, it sucks, man. They. You know what I mean. We're not. This video is not about that. But yeah, Last was two story, just trash, complete trash. Okay. The reason they kill uh, Joel, I mean, go figure, right? They don't like families, man. They they wanna have like all them, they them running around. Abby the Brock Lesnar looking guy, right? Getting his ass cheeks pounded in 4K. Yeah, that's that's what they want. They don't like families, man. They don't want families no more in the in the games, or they don't wanna show that in in movies. None of that right now, man. That's what they're all about right now, man. It, it, it's sad, but it, it's pathetic. It, it'd be what it'd be, right? So I think for the massive projects and for these bigger titles from these bigger studios, I think they're still gonna be woke, okay? They're still gonna be woke. They're still gonna be doing crap like that. But they're probably gonna, like, slow down a little bit is what I'm thinking. Maybe not, like, the bigger titles, but, however, if these bigger titles from these bigger publishers, if they also see, like, low sale count, not making enough money then they're gonna stop then they're gonna stop of course these no-name brands these no-name these new ips like concord of course this is absolutely wild to see right because this is a big playstation game and to see it flop this bad damn that's crazy the gamers are coming together man shout out to the gamers out there yay shout out to the gamers out there now we're finding out that gamers are not just talk but they also do walk the walk as well it's not just talk mother effers it's uh, walk the walk as well me and i like that i like that but what about like assassin's creed when it's gonna drop is assassin's creed gonna still see low count maybe right maybe what about that star wars game i think star wars but, but see, that's the thing though, Star Wars and Assassin's Creed uh, game, games, these are like household names, these are beloved franchises, people love them. Uh, right now they're hating them, but are people still gonna buy? It's like the Call of Duty situation, right? People always hate Call of Duty, but people always buy. Maybe not you, but generally speaking, people always hate them, and it's the best-selling game every single year. Minus some years where it would come out at number two, but hey, like, number two is still big though. That's crazy, right? 
you you get the point right but we're gonna see like how much assassin's creed sells we're gonna see how much star Wars sells if it doesn't sell too well then hey that's a good indicator if it sells too well uh, if it sells like crazy then uh, of course uh, it would just uh uh confirm that theory that when it comes to these no-name titles people are not gonna buy if they're bad right if they're good then people gonna buy but when it comes to like these household names when it's it comes to like the bigger franchises people are just gonna buy them people are just gonna clown on them but people are just gonna buy them time will tell us for sure but check out this video on the screen recently we got some brand new gta 6 leaks as well we covered that we had good news on it check out this video on the screen and i will see you right there if you already seen it then check out the video on the left